I have a dream. With that one sentence, Martin Luther King touched and empowered an entire nation. You know what else he did? He made everybody else without dreams feel real bad. <laughs> Father, I finished my application for college. You know, I want to invent a mode of transportation that will conserve the energy of the planet and run on a renewable fuel source Whoa, that will save people billions of dollars. <laughs> Congratulations. And here's your first beer. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Cars. <laughs> to find their dream, most people need that epiphany moment. My dream became clear one day when I cranked down a 12-pack and fell into a bonfire. <laughs> when you fell into the bonfire, did you breathe or did you scream? <laughs> I screamed. Urgh. Really? Well, good. Because if you had breathed in, the hot air and flames would have collapsed your lungs and you would have died. Died? Died. Well, I better come up with a business plan of some sort. <laughs> I was lucky. I found my dream early and a soulmate to support me in that dream. Unfortunately, my soulmate didn't find her dream till she was really old, like, like 30. And she had to go back to school for it. Ugh. But she was so cute when she found her dream. I couldn't tell her how stupid it really was. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, uh, it's your first day. And, and you forgot your, your lucky... Uh, uh, pocket lint. Uh. <laughs> Christopher, you don't need to follow me. I can take care of myself. Well, why can't you be a social worker in a good neighborhood? Huh? I mean, uh, help the Johnsons down our street. It's two people, one car? How do they do that? <laughs> Honey, you've been on my ass for two years to pick a career. I finally did. Now leave me alone. But, 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 no, no, no. No, I didn't know you were going to pick this. Uh. Uh, take a couple more years, huh? I mean, you look so cute on the couch. Oh, Christopher, uh. don't move. What? Christopher, there's a huge bee on your ear. Oh, get it off. No, I'm going to work. No, get to me! Get to me! Ah! Aaron! One. Fitzpatrick, you must be the program director, Mr. <laughs> I'm an uh, intern with the Department of Mental Health Services. Jill, it's for you. Oh, 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 hi, hi, uh, Jill? Hi, <laughs> Jill, wow, you're, you're ready to pop. I guess that answers my first question, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, um, um, I need to get your case history, Jill, so, um, you know, let's just talk about your baby a little bit. I really don't want to talk about it. Well, hon, 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 it's important to talk about it. It's the father around? Yeah. Yeah, he's married to my mom. Next question. <laughs> well, someone who, who's married to your mom would be, oh, my God. <laughs> My name is Ms. Fitzpatrick, Jill, but, but you can call me. <laughs> Pre-approved career choices where you won't be locked in a room by subhuman dog children. Locksmith, court stenographer, video store clerk, crane operator, docent, Latino band leader, accountant, travel agent, brewmaster, small engine repair, underwater welder, long distance truck driver, mentalist, NFL place kicker, or puppeteer. Aaron 
makes the best of every situation. She wakes up every morning and starts her day by saying happy 10 times. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> Mommy, smoking causes cancer. Mommy wants cancer, honey, because of daddy. Happy, 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 superhero is hard work. You have to wear those rubber tights in the summer when it's hot. <laughs> you have to hide who you really are by pretending you're the caring, supportive boyfriend. You have to make sure that no one discovers the true identity of... Your dream is stupid man! <laughs> Difference. <laughs> All right. I, I'm, I'm, no, I'm Robin. I'm Robin. No, I'm Robin. You're Alfred. I'm right, fine. <laughs> fine, I'm Alfred. At least I have some class and grace. Well, I want to be Alfred. Shut up! <laughs> Look, my girlfriend is locked in that room. If I don't get a key right now, I am gonna start busting some heads. It's a latch. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, I guess I don't need to bust any heads. Thank you, <laughs> sir. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hiding in the bushes. What did you think, Christopher? <laughs> that I couldn't do this? You can't do this. You called me. You were down here before I called you. Yeah, but you didn't know I did. <laughs> so, here's what you can do. You can pick another job and go. Oh, I never should have called you. Hey, good telephone sales, huh? Yeah, you know, I mean, you called me once, boom, I picked right up. That's a good job for you. You can go now. I have everything under control. No, your fire extinguisher is empty. <laughs> how, long, how long were you out there? About 200 happies. <laughs> The kids and I were using light and play to establish a relationship based on trust. Really? Well, did you know your car is not where you parked it? Kevin took it to drive by somewhere. <laughs> He'll be right back. Well, see? Trust. Oh, it's okay. My car's fine. <laughs> no, wait. Oh, there's a bird on my antenna. Oh. Shoot! Shoot! Tommy's not limited to being picked on by people. See, Tommy and birds go together like oil and... birds. <laughs> 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 pretty birdie, pretty birdie. Queer boy! 
<laughs> what did you say? Queer boy! Queer boy! <laughs> you... Hi. I'd like to buy this bird and that boa constrictor. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what? You live in a house? Um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Can we back away now? Uh, it's, it's natural for kids to be curious. What time do you go to sleep? Um. Never. We never sleep. <laughs> We're up all night feeding the Dobermans. Ah, ah. Oh, my God, those are gang birds. <laughs> They're really angry. What do you expect, huh? Held down by the man? Filled with the rage of the disenfranchised. I mean, look around you! Hey, ping pong! <laughs> Jill, I need to ask you some questions. And I need them not to be on fire. Hey, hey. <gasps> fireman, huh? <laughs> you put that fire out really good. That's a good job for you. You'd be great at that. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> when Aaron does something, it's never halfway, always 100%. You should see her eat ribs, man. Like a dingo with a baby. <laughs> she actually got us banned from Big Willie's rib pit. Oh, but not before they put her photo on the wall in the marrow sucking hall of fame. Thank you, Luann. Next is Aaron Fitzpatrick. Is is Aaron Fitzpatrick here? <laughs> Not till I've earned it. So my mom got married again, and I went to El Paso and lived with them for a while in his car. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. J just a little slower, Jill. Abusive home life, heroin, addicted mother. Hey, listen to her interview, huh? She could be some kind of radio interviewer on the radio. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, let's talk about your baby a little oh, bit. Oh, or a baby nurse, a baby nurse. Get baby nurse on the radio. Good morning, babies! <laughs> I need to talk to Jill about her baby. I really don't want to talk about it. She'll be able to get it out of her. Oh, she could be a New York cop. Yeah, you know whose rules she plays by? Her own. Bingo. Yeah. You know, if she were a bird catcher, that would help us out a lot. Okay, okay, okay. You, over there. You, I want to talk to you. Follow me. Now! All right. Ooh. Hey, prison guard. Lockdown! Dead man walking! Yeah. <laughs> All right. What I'm going to say is this. You need to... Hey! Oh, you can't lock me in here. There's crazy freaks out there that will hurt you. Hey. Are you Batman? <laughs> yes. Dave, your brother kept telling me he was Alfred. I'm Alfred. I tried to explain it to him, and the argument got out of hand. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, do you have a key for that door? It's a lurch! <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> I'll untie him. Hey, 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 thank you. Thank you, Alfred. <laughs> I'm Alfred. See what I mean? Oh, don't tell me. He is a total... He's... He's... A... Aaron, open this door! Now! I... Hey! I swallowed a ball! Okay, tell me, tell me. Look around for a screwdriver. We'll jimmy the door. Well, we could just call your dad. No, hell no. We're not going to call my dad. Not in a million years, man. We'll get out of this. No. <laughs> you called him. Yeah, maybe a little. Aaron! Dave. 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 Aaron!
ask my dad for help, he's gonna help you. Like a vulture helps a rancid armadillo off a lonely Texas highway. <laughs> One peck at a time. What you doing in there, boy? I don't want to talk about it. I'm not answering that. I'm not calling you. Hello? Was he? Ah! <laughs> oh, that was worth it. <laughs> All right, you want to see more shows? Stick around. I come down here to support you, and you lock me in a room? Support me? You told me to get a job as a tuna boat skipper. <laughs> Woo, this is good. Hey, 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 hey. I, I, I may not agree with everything you do, but I got your back and you got mine. Like, like, like if you thought me building custom cars was stupid, well, you'd support me anyway. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, exactly you'd support me or exactly you think me building custom cars is stupid? Uh-huh. <laughs> Which? Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't feel good, does it, Christopher? Someone thinking your dream in life is stupid. Is that what you think? No, I think that you are jealous because not only did I graduate college, but I'm getting my master's degree and it's obvious that I'm gonna be way more smarter than you. <laughs> You're already way more smarter than me and more gooder looking too. <laughs> What is the problem? He doesn't want you to be a social worker because he hates them. Yeah. Because they yanked him out of the loving arms of the most important person in his life, me. What? <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> when I was seven, living with my dad, he was working two jobs and doing the best he could. And then they came, the social workers, and they gave me to my mom. That's what social workers do. They steal babies, okay? Being a social worker is like training to be a, a witch or a troll or a Rumpelstiltskin. Christopher belongs with me. I got a new job, a new wife, and I'm wearing pants. I'm his mother. A boy should be with his mother. Mommy lives in a cardboard box under the freeway. We're gonna play fort. Is that all it takes? Huh? Well. I could be a good parent too, you know. <laughs> because I'm a social worker, my dad had to go to court. And he spent two years and sixty thousand dollars to get me back. I could have gone to college. Hell, I could have had a boat and a Corvette. I could have ridden around in a boat and a Corvette. <laughs> huh? How does that feel, social worker? I'm so sorry you didn't get a boat. Boo hoo. Hon. <laughs> I had to spend two years with a totally insane woman because some flighty do-gooder thought they were doing the right thing. I still hate her. And you know, if you take this job, I'm gonna hate you too. I forgot about the boat. <laughs> I'm sorry I even came down here. You know how much trim you can get with a Corvette? <laughs> like the social workers that you hate. I want to do this. I'm good at this because I understand them. You don't understand Jack. Uh, ooh, better get a new fire extinguisher. <laughs> no, young lady, you don't know Jack. I do understand because my dad beat me too. What? It was a long time ago and I couldn't talk about it because I blamed myself. I do that too. But it's not your fault. You can't blame yourself for the stuff that your your parents did to you. It's not your fault. When did your dad beat you? Christopher, stop it. Yeah, Christopher, stop it! <laughs> the, 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 the worst part about it is, Jill, is that I came to expect it and accept it. Yeah, I, I confused love and abuse and you don't have to make the same mistake. But it's different. My dad does love me. It's not your fault. It's not. Now, I'm not gonna leave here until you promise me that you'll at least think about what I said. All right, I'll think about it. Thank you. <laughs> I'll think about it too. Me too. <laughs> Guys, come here. Hey, 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 hey. 
Hey, Robin wouldn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm Alfred. <laughs> Get up. Come here. We're going to Aaron's father's house and we're going to kick his little elfin ass for what he did to her. Christopher, Christopher, my father never beat me. I lied. What? I lied. To get that little psycho to trust me. <laughs> you lied to an abused pregnant teenager? <laughs> Who's the bestest social worker ever, huh? <laughs> The one with the burning briefcase. <laughs> Bud, she looks like she's thinking about it. I have a dream. Uh, Martin Luther King had a dream so big that millions climbed on board. And one man changed the nation forever. Wow. How do you follow a dream that big? I guess you got to start small, you know. Baby steps. Uh, I have some gum. <laughs> Anybody could get gum. <laughs> you feel better now, don't you? <laughs> Funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.